Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your Corona Fuses. Uh, last time we did a side mission where we got our ass beat by a, a freaking robot trying to help some guy out. And I didn't feel like getting my ass beat twice, so I skipped over that mission and I said, nah, we're, we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna go ahead and chill and relax in our dormitory. And if you guys like this video or this series, then please do not hesitate to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Also, I might be making these videos just a little bit longer. Just, just, just tiny bit, just, just a little tiny bit longer. And if you guys uh, would like the longer videos, then please let me know in the comments. But yeah, let's get into it. Ah, morning. All right, let's see what missions you got for us this time. If you guys would like to read these, then go ahead and just pause the video. Yo, obviously we're going to the school, uh, schoolhouse last, and I'm gonna have to supply it because that last boss was annoying. Uh, I am not looking forward to whatever we're about to face. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go and find this photographer. Okay, I'm obviously in the wrong building. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to stock up. But every time I try to buy some, I feel so poor. I'm definitely going to have to like get some more <laughs> Mira because oh my god, I am so done looking at this. Look, even even exchanging ain't gonna do that much unless I like defeat like a ton of monsters. Come on, go. Go up there. Where are you? Are you? Photography club. Yep, there you are. You must be Fidelo. You sent in a request about the photography club to the student council, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm actually head of the photography club. Given that you're a first year helping out the student council, I suppose that makes you Reen I've heard about. Guilty as charged. I believe your request said something about an issue with the first year club member. That's right. I was hoping I could handle it on my own, but that's becoming less and less likely. I really do want to stop Rex though, so would you be willing to lend me a hand? Of course, I came all the way to fucking find you. Of course I would freaking do it. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Like I said, the matter I want to discuss with you concerns a first year student by the name of Rex. Apparently he's been taking inappropriate photos of girls with their permission, even going as far as going into the girls locker room and just lying in wait like a creeper. And to make what matters worse, he's been exchanging them in shady deals with some of the other boys at the academy. Well, that definitely sounds pretty sketchy. In fact, it sounds like a Blended in violation of the Academy's rules. Indeed, it does. I'm not sure exactly what kind of photos, photographs they are or what he's exchanging them for, but the fact that he's violating the rules of the Academy is clear. If he keeps it up, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up suspended or even expelled. And that's why I want to stop him before it's too late. That's true. He's practically doomed if the instructors or the girls themselves find out about this yeah because uh he might want to get it suspended or expelled rather than the girls find out because if the girls find out about it <gasps> he's dead like he's a dead man walking there's, there's no doubt about that speaking of which have you tried discussing this with rex in private i've asked about it a few times in passing but he always plays innocent i assume he thinks it's safe to continue as long as he doesn't get caught in the act I see. In fact, let's catch him in the app. Bust him while he's exchanging his photos. I wish he didn't have to come to this, but I don't think we have any other choice at this point. But word of warning, he's been extremely 
vigilant lately. I think I might have raised the issue one too many times and put him on guard, which is why I'm going to ask you to catch him for me. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Rex and I might be from different social classes, but I've always seen him as friends who shared a mutual trust. All I want is for him to understand what he's doing and stop, but it does make me sad that it's come to this. We'll just have to hope that catching him in the act will give us a chance to show him that he's what he's doing is wrong. I suppose you're right. Either way, he seems to have a number of prearranged spots where he conducts these deals. I've managed to work out two of them so far. The first of them is behind the storage building in the f on the field, and the other is near the old schoolhouse. Hmm. Those spots do seem secluded enough to get away with some shady business. He has a good eye for these things. You're going to want to be careful when trying to get near him, though he has a knack for sensing danger. Tread very lightly. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, I'll start looking for him in the two spots you mentioned. Alright, so we're going to catch a uh, creepy photogra uh, photographer and see what he's exchanging them for. Probably for like money or... I'm gonna say most likely money, but or maybe like anything else that he wants. Stop talking, give me things. Thank you. Bye. Um, I have no tears at all because I'm broke as fuck. Good thing that some of y'all can heal because we would be in trouble. If we could not do this. Alright, he said the field in the schoolhouse. So let's get way over there. The field's right here, so I'm definitely going to the field first. Are you over here? Aha! Found you! Ooh, man, this picture is great. Rex, you're an artist, a genius even. Haha, <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but you're totally right. I am a genius. Found him, looks like Fidel hit that nail right on the head. Now I just need to see the deal go down. So, have you got the goods? Of course, man, I brought some top quality stuff. Now we're talking, let's get... Hold up. What's going on, Rex? Don't tell me it's that Fidel guy again. Nah, not him. It's just a feeling. Let's split for now. We'll be back up at Area B. Got it? Got, got it. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? What, what the? They're gone. Wait, did he sense I was here and run away? Sure seems that way. Right over those boxes by the looks of it. What? And then did he climb the mountain? The the little mini mountain up there? Like, the hell? So this is what Fidel meant about him being real good at sensing danger. He'll be a tough one to catch. It's not going to happen if I waste my time standing around here, though. Better find out where he went. Probably went to the schoolhouse. So, we'll go make our way over there. Hey, you! Oh, hey, Patrick. How are those wounds looking after I beat your ass last time? I see you're hard at work again, this doing council's errand boy. Though I can hardly imagine a more fitting role for the ringleader of the class of Memphis. Are you- did you just come all the way over here just to insult me? Do you have nothing else better to do with your time? Um, he almost seemed kind of down after last month, like he regretted what he said. It looks like we're back to the old Patrick again. Well, what are you smiling about? Hope you're not expecting an apology for what I said last month, because if so, you'd be waiting a long time. I admit, losing my composure like that wasn't befitting of my status and memorability, but I... Yeah, I get it, I get it. I don't feel bent out of shape or anything, so let's just put it behind us, okay? Trying to find not not oh I butchered that word. Moving on, are you 
always having to be the cool one, don't you, Schwarzer? That was his way of an apology? Man, that is the most suckiest apology I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> but I guess with him being the way he is, like, that's as close an apology you're gonna get. <laughs> no matter. I'll leave you to take care of whatever mean chores you've been saddled with today, but I have no intention of letting you get the better of me again in the classroom or in combat, so be ready. So he's gonna challenge me again eventually. <sighs> what was that all about? I guess that means he really has been dwelling on what happened last month this whole time. <laughs> Maybe he's not half bad after all. Yeah, because he said some mean shit to us last time. Like, it was just over the top. Even his friends were like, yo, that's going way too far. Like, take that back. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> I found you. There he is. The same guy from four with them, too. He should have pictures on hand, so now would be the time to ask. Sorry, do you guys have a minute? Who's that? Have you got a new customer? Nah, pretty sure that's Rain from class seven. You know, the guy who's always helping at student council? Damn, we just bought the close deal too. He might have been the one you noticed earlier then. No doubt about it. And he's headed straight for us. We can't let him see the stash though. Well, what are we gonna do? It's already pretty close. Don't worry, I've got a plan. If we can make it out of here alive, we'll meet at point C. You ready? Yeah. I've got some questions for you too. Whoa, what are you doing over there in that revealing swimsuit at least? <laughs> he knows about to turn her head too. Don't do it, Reed. Damn it! <laughs> Reed, why? You know wife wouldn't be all the way out here in a goddamn swimsuit. But Elisa? Why would she even be a swim? Son of a And they're gone already. Well, they're fast, if nothing else. <sighs> they got me good this time. It didn't seem like they finished their trade, though. I've been to the place of Adelia mentioned, but it seems like they've found their meeting spot. They want a place no one will find them. Maybe like a building that's not used very often? I don't know, the auditorium, maybe? I better start searching then. Um, building that hasn't been searched often. The only one I can think of is the auditorium, because it's locked. Nobody goes near it. I know people go inside the gym, so I guess with no if it if it's not the auditorium, then we're just gonna have to go to place after place after place after place and just search around the buildings just to see. Oh, -ho! the auditorium's oh ooh, they unlocked it. Maybe he's found his way in here. Where are you? You on the stage? You? You upstairs? No? You're not there? I don't see anybody up there either. But we'll check the other side just in case. Sometimes you have to get up close and personal before things like appear in this game, so... No, still nothing. Oh wait, I see, I see, wait, that door right there? Did I come out that door? I don't think I came out that door, so it might, so it might be backstage somewhere. Because, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice, I'll take this one. Well then, it was a pleasure doing business with you. God, seriously, again? Okay, gotta go later. Wait. Okay, hand it over. I'm sure you don't need to tell you, but you shouldn't have that photo. <sighs> I'm sunk. Fine, here you go. Rand comes getting the offending photo. Is this President Toa? This picture wasn't what I was envisioning. I was expecting, like, maybe... I don't know, like, li like literally, like I'm wait, like he's waiting in the girls' locker room type photo, um, seeing girls changing, seeing maybe like I don't know, like an embarrassing, like the wind gets up their skirts and he's like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
she just taking a whole bunch of photos. I was thinking like it was a picture like that, but this seems pretty innocent. But you still can't take pictures of someone without their permission anyway, so it's still wrong. Even though it wasn't what I was expecting. I'm a big fan, alright? What, you got a problem with that? Not exactly. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I heard Rex was taking inappropriate photos, but this is just a picture of her working, like she always does. Isn't it great? It's Toa in her natural habitat. How can your heart not melt when you see that sweet look of determination? Seeing a picture like this is an art. You can't deny that Rex is a master of this craft, can you? Can you? Well, well I really can't. But he still took this photo without permission. So yeah, exactly. He still took it without permission. So it's a big no-no. Yeah, I figured as much. That's why I handed it over. But are you sure you should be standing here talking to me while Rex gets away? Uh, yeah, good point. I can tell that he's still somewhere in the auditorium. Oh, he's hiding. Seems like he's planning on hiding out in here and hoping I'll leave. I got some bad news for you, Rex. Either way, I better not catch you buying a can of photos again. Got it? E yeah, got it. Alright, so he's in the building somewhere. He never left. I... I, rem I remember that when you're in like, I don't know, I guess in the save zone, you can't like slash at boxes like I usually do. I know you're in here. I know he's not out there somewhere because he's like wide open. So you're probably on the other side over here. Where are you? Where'd you go? Do I have to go up these stairs again and do this whole fucking tango? Nope, still nothing. Aha! That's where you went. You literally just went to a corner hoping I wouldn't see you. Sorry, Rex. It's over. There's nowhere to run. Just come quietly and brace for a lecture for Fidello. He's like, damn it! How would you even think to look up here? It's not hard. There's nothing for you to hide behind. Alright, the game's up, Rex. Hand over all the photos you've taken without their subject's permission. And don't even think about holding on to the photo quarants you've used to take them. F fine this is all I've got left, though. Fidel took the photographs and photo quarants from Rex. Wow. He's got Lisa too. And Laura. He's got all the females. <laughs> wow, they were remarkably varied, aren't they? And it looks like there are even more on the qu photo courts too. <laughs> well, yeah. These are really nice photos though. I'm surprised. So am I. They're all very characteristic of the girls featured in them. They really convey each girl's individual charms. So you like them too, then? They're beautiful photographs. I'll give you that. So, so, but it doesn't change the fact that they were taken without the girl's permission. He's like, they may be beautiful photos, but you still took it without their permission. It doesn't matter how well taken a picture is if its subject doesn't want to be photographed. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say here, don't you? I, I guess, yeah. By the way, we've, we've heard that you were exchanging them with some other students. That's right, I'm afraid we're going to have to need you to ask to give us whatever you traded for too. F fine. Rex hand over a magazine. A magazine? It's full of pictures of girls. Well, at least he wasn't selling them for Mira. So now what happens to me? If the foes were to recant, I was going to tell you to leave the club. Okay, so he was like, if these were some dirty photos, I would tell you to leave because we don't do that here. But I think I know just the way to put this all behind us. Brunello tore up the photographs and put the photographs under a bright light, utterly destroying the photographs on it. No! All my hard work, all my blood, sweat, and tears! <laughs> Compared to having the instructors find out about what you were doing, this is a cakewalk. Well, well, that's true. I doubt anyone other than Fidelo would have forgiven me for what I did either. <laughs> well, you're a top-notch photographer after all. I know you'll do great things if you put your mind to it. You, you really think so? Um, I'm sorry I hadn't been coming to the club for a while too. <laughs> as long as you realize what you were doing was wrong, I have no intention of harping on the matter any further. 
It looks like everything's okay between them now. That's a relief. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you to stop taking pictures of girls. Make sure you get the permission in the future, okay? I'm sure the photographs you, will, you, you take will turn out even better that way. Okay. Okay. So he was a good guy. He was just kind of like... He, he just wanted to do things a certain way. He just wants to get them in their natural habitat. But he's like, you still need their permission. You can't just do whatever the hell you want. And now that we've got that done, let's get some bonding times in here before we go over to the schoolhouse. So I already got some Terras and all the good stuff. So who do we can bond with? Look around. Because it says she's in this room. And I'm just like, no, you're not. Oh my god, there she is! Oh my, I totally overlooked you. I am so sorry. Are you sick? <laughs> she's like, I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. Looks like she's sleeping. Well, I'd rather have her sleep here than outside. Should I watch over her for a while? Yes, because we don't really have that many bonding time with Fee. So, we're just going to go ahead and do this. I'll go get a chair. Or rather, I'll go ask and start to if I can. <laughs> You're just sitting there just being a stalker, just being creepy. He's like, why are you doing this? What about this music? <laughs> she's been going through so much lately. I mean, yeah, she's fighting with Laura and freaking... They're going head to head. And I can't really blame Fee because Fee, she's, she's being herself. And Laura is the one that's butt hurt. Cause she found out who she, she's affiliated with and she can't agree with it so she's like constantly fighting her and she's like do whatever you want i don't care like i'm not gonna be ashamed of being myself seems like she's sound asleep instructor instructor beatrix thanks for always taking care of fee <laughs> oh, please, it's my pleasure. Besides, how can I decline a request from Instructor Sarah herself? Instructor Sarah asked you to do this? Yes, indeed. She's told me a bit about Fee's past, too. Not everything, of course, but just what's apparent. Her past as a Jaeger, for instance. It's a good thing, too, since it seems like that's the root of some of her recent troubles. I see. Instructor Beatrix, can I ask you to keep taking care of Fee from here on out? Of course, she's such a pleasant girl, but I can't provide much more than a bed to sleep on. After all, it's a student's job to sort their own problems out. It's a part of growing up, really. I suppose you're right, but it's not just up to her, is it? Every member of Class 7 needs to work as one, as we need to make sure that she has her support. We're all in this together. Huh, glad this, you see, you're so perceptive. Don't worry about me so much. Well now, good morning, Fee. Did we wake you up? No, I'm still asleep. What did you think would happen when you started droning on right next to me? Oh, so she's being sarcastic as hell. He said, did we wake you up? Oh no, I'm, I was still sleeping. You know, and not that your constant talking woke me up or anything. Uh, sorry, don't be. Thanks. Fee, I, I'm going to go back to bed. Wake me up if you need me. That didn't take long. She was raised on the battlefield, but she's able to sleep peacefully when other people are around. I'd say that's quite an achievement, wouldn't you? Definitely. I'll do whatever I can to make sure that she can always feel at ease. <laughs> you can tell she's kind of giving you a silent thanks. I appreciate you. Be strengthened. Okay, uh, come on, give me a level three, come on. Somebody give me a level three. All right, who can we go to next? Cause that was a nice precious moment. Hmm. Who have we really bonded with? We keep going after Elisa, but I don't see Elisa anywhere. Oh, she's probably in Trista somewhere. Um. Let's go to the student council. I see Crow. 
I see Mr. High and Mighty. Nope, nope. Can we go back here? No, we cannot. I didn't even know I can come in here. My son Greg is a good kid. He's polite and smart, so I'm sure he'll do well in the capital. He's not the best chef, though. Next time he comes home, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Uh, oh, there you are. Yes. Oh, why you look pissed at me? Emma, if you were staring at those pages even harder, you'd burn a hole through them. Marine, um, how do I explain this? Dorothy asked me to proofread this manuscript of hers, you see. Sounds like a rough job. Couldn't help but notice that you're looking a little red, though. Are you feeling all right? Haha, <laughs> I'm feeling perfectly fine. And th th this manuscript definitely isn't full of Slurge's imagery, either. Ah, she's reading some smuts. <laughs> Say what now? Anyway, I'm, I'm fine now. Uh, so there's no need to worry. Sounds like she could use a little help with her proofreading. It sounds more like she wants you to go away, but we're gonna bother her anyway. How about I give you a hand with the proofreading? What? what you, you want to help out with this? Is there some reason I should? Uh, of course not. Well, um, if you really insist, then feel free. Again, he, his jaw is probably dropping like, what am I reading right now? Um, Emma? Y yes? This wasn't, uh, written by mistake, was it? It's definitely a romance though, but all the characters are guys. That does seem to be the case, yes. <laughs> so how do you like it? Oh, please say you loved it. It be my wor it make my world feel so much wider. She's writing a BL, <laughs> a BL love story over here. He's like looking just like, this is a romance novel, right? He's like, yeah, but there's nothing but guys in it. Yeah, what's the what, what's the problem? He's just like, uh, uh, uh. okay, I'll just continue proofreading. How do I put this? I feel like I've been introduced to an entirely new world, one that I might not have wanted to know existed. <laughs> I had no part in writing it. I had no idea Dorothy wrote this sort of stories until recently. <laughs> this is the genre of young womanhood. Come on, you two. There's a lot more you want, you want to proofread. And they're just like, ugh! She finally has to get some rest. These these aren't the easiest novels for God to get through. <laughs> I was afraid of that. But that genre seems to be getting more and more popular within Airbone lately. Well, to each his or own, I guess. Well, I'm always glad to have my horizons broadened. I definitely could have done without some of the more graphic details. Agreed. I, I'm feeling a little flustered myself after that. <sighs> I got so embarrassed that I fucked up my glasses. Really? You got embarrassed? Hmm. Hmm. Emma moved her glasses and placed them on the table. Emma? Y yes? Something wrong? Oh no, it's just that this is the first time I've ever seen without your glasses. Yeah, girl, look good. What? what? Phew. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to stare. It's just, I mean... It really changes up your look. I'm sure not. I'm sure not complaining. Haha, <laughs> how embarrassing. Uh, perhaps we should get back to proofreading now. Oh yeah, right. Mm. Um, there's no need to force yourself though. The worst of these, if they get too graphic, I'll take care of them. And Dusty returned to the club room to wa to wade through erotic tales of passionate young manhood once again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she tried to give you the signal. Go away. As Rin and Emma neared the brink of exhaustion, the proofreading finally came to an end. Your bond and her strengthened. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Alright, got one more. Let's make it count. Who have I not really bonded with this entire... Well, so far in this game. Um, I think I've given Laura a chance. I think Elliot, I think Elliot might be the one 
who I haven't really bonded with lately. So let's go talk to him right quick. Where are you, Elliot? Ah, there you are. You weren't that hard to find. Musical performances are just, just one of the things the Surf Festival is famous for. The local music academy sends out a group to play there every year. Hmm, maybe this year it will be... Um, something to man. Oh, he wants to play for the Summer Festival. Nah, I'm just remembering how I'd go watch them every year. I guess there's still a part of me that wishes I can go this year too. Can, can, can we not do this? Can we not bond with you? Okay, that that's... Who's in Okay. Ooh, with Sarah? We don't really get to bond with Sarah that often. Ho 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 We're definitely gonna see what, what's going on with her. Hopefully we get something out of it and it's just not like a wasted point. Wasted. Like, please. Where are you? Where are you? I know you're near the park somewhere. So you're like... Over here somewhere. Oh, dang it, did not mean. Okay, you're right there. Right? Cool. Chose the right path. Okay, let's boogie. Where is she going? Huh, I wonder what she's heading onto the highway for. I mean, it is her, so I probably don't need to be too concerned. Should I follow after her? Uh, yeah. Right, let's go. Is she planning on taking all, all of them on by herself? Oh yeah, she got this. Those are a cakewalk. Hey, looks like I've got no shorter for dance partners today. Alright, time's a wasting, so let's get started. Hope you all can keep up, instructor. Marine, what are you doing out here? It's too dangerous to fight this many on your own. Let me help. Aw, I'm touched. I think I've got this though. Why don't you just sit back and watch and begin? His face is like, whoa! There we go, easy peasy. And that's why I'm your teacher. That's literally what this is. Uh, wow. You beat those monsters so hard, I almost feel bad for them. <laughs> how do you like that? Willing to admit how awesome and cool your instructor is now? Well, I can't deny your skill at least. So you came out here to train them? Pretty much. I wander out here every now and then to lay into the wildlife. A gal's gotta stay in shape somehow, you know? <laughs> Guess I look pretty dumb rushing in to try to help you out, huh? That's not entirely true. I appreciate the sentiment at least. Seeing you dashing in all worried about little old me made me smile. Alas, dear Rain, I don't want to break your sweet young heart, but we're teaching student. It'd never work out. Oh my god. Tragic. How will I ever cope? Anyway, now that you're here, you might as well get in on the fun. Think of it as a special private lesson just for you. Well, ignoring how staggering easy it would be to misinterpret that, sure, I'll join you. In fact, I'll be glad to. Hehe, <laughs> attaboy. And so Reen joined Instructor Terry in a wild brawl against the monsters on the highway. And after he spent the last of his stamina, he made his way back to the dorm. Okay, yes, we do get something. Oh, but it doesn't tell you. Alright. Because we don't get to bond with her often. That, that was like the first time in the game so far I've ever seen that. Can we not go outside? Okay. We can. I was thinking that, oh no, the day's over. I haven't gone to the schoolhouse yet. I'm, I'm, uh, freaking, uh, I'm fucked. <laughs> I need to, I need to go do that. Alright, so we're finally back at the schoolhouse. At last. So let's see what kind of what kind of monsters we're gonna face off this time. The 
front doors are locked. Something has changed inside the old schoolhouse every month so far. No reason to believe this month will be any different. We're going to need to be ready for anything. So what do I do? Should I start investigating? Yes, yes, I know this already. All right, time to get everyone together. Hmm. Mm, no, I think I'm gonna switch these two because they're both heavy hitters. But I don't want to be the only one that's up close and personal all the time because these two are just kind of. Most of the time, they're like in the background, so. So I think this is a good one. <laughs> Not today. All right, got it. Doesn't seem like I'll be able to invite both Laura and Fee to go with me this time. What? Oh, well, let's choose again. Why didn't you tell me the first time? Okay, so these two are out for the count. So, I had you. I... Guessing I'm putting you back in. Um, damn, and they're like my two strongest in level at least. Um, you. I'm gonna bring you just in case. I'm gonna bring you. Okay. I cannot believe that. Let's have a look at the elevator panel first. I'm betting we'll be able to go down the fourth floor now. Are you going about those rules you proposed last month? I don't know how it's possible, but I have a weird feeling your theory is probably right. But it, we should see for ourselves. Right. Time to get this month's in investigation started. Man, we're almost down to the last floor. Looks like the next light's lit up. Guess that means the fourth floor is open now. So your hypothesis was right after all. Yeah, let's head on down. I'm ready. To the fourth floor. Wait, is there no door down here? This wind. What's up, guys? The wind in here feels like it did in the ancient quarry in the North Highlands. I suspect the higher elements may be at work here. You think there's some connection between here and the ancient quarry? Well, let's be extra careful in here, okay? I'm betting the monsters will be even stronger than what we dealt with in the previous floors, too. Stay on your guard, everyone. Gotcha. Where, where's the door? Okay, there it is. Bang. I was about to say, I was like, there's no door here? Alright, let's see what we're going to be dealing with. Let's be careful, everyone. Wait, is freaking... It's freaking reindeer in here. Let me go straight. So that moved a wall. It made it turn the stairs. I don't know. Oh my god, I really don't want to deal with you. And I'm not going to. I don't care if there's even a treasure next to it. I'm not about to go and fight that. The regular one's already, like, 
a pain in the ass. Yeah, there's nothing up here. There's probably a treasure he's guarding. Okay, there's nothing there. There's stairs right there, so I gotta get around you somehow. Ooh. No, come on, turn around, turn around. You know you want to. Turn the other way, go near the other stairs. Go towards the other stairs, come on. Just, just turn the other way so I can like sideswap you. Aha, thank you. down here what does anything down here no they're just guarding a treasure dang it and there's so many of them I feel like the boss is gonna be like some kind of plant boss because there's so many plants down here If I go that way, it's gonna be too close. Okay, there you go. There you go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna catch the coast is clear. Like, are there any monsters down here? Ooh. Trust me, I would slash and all dice right, all of them. Ooh. We're already here at the final boss stage? What? I cannot believe this. We're already here. Alright. Alright guys, so we're at the final battle on this floor. And we'll get to that battle in the next video. In the next video. I'm sorry, I stumbled there. Oh, I stuttered. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, next video we'll go into the boss battle. Hopefully, I don't die a lot, <laughs> but here's the hoping. So, we'll get to that in the next video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! See you later!